हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी सीरीज ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स इन फोर मिनट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आत्मन शाह इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द लॉ ऑफ वेरिएबल प्रोपोर्शन एंडली सब्सक्राइब टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल टू फाइंड मोर वीडियोज ऑन इकोनॉमिक्स एस पी एस एस एंड आर स्टूडियो लेट्स बिगिन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन इन द शॉर्ट रन प्रोडक्शन डिपेंड्स ऑन वन वेरिएबल फैक्टर दैट इज लेबर सो अदर फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन आर कॉन्स्टेंट इन द शॉर्ट रन सो दिस थियरी एग्जामिन्स द इफेक्ट ऑफ वन वेरिएबल फैक्टर ऑन टोटल प्रोडक्शन दैट इज द आइडिया ऑफ लॉ ऑफ वेरिएबल प्रपोर्शन so let's understand it with the help of example so here we have labor units that is l total production tp marginal production mp and average production ap on horizontal axis we have labor units on vertical axis we have total production marginal production and average production this is the total production curve here we have marginal production curve and blue line shows the average production curve now see point a that is third unit of labor so up to 3 units of labor marginal production increases you see the table it increases from 80 to 90 to 100 and after this point or after this labor unit marginal production starts declining so this is known as point of inflection then we have fourth unit of labor so up to four units of labor average production increases you can see in the table and then it starts declining so this is stage 1 now what are the characteristics of first stage of production so here average production increases marginal production increases reaches the maximum point and starts declining and total production increases at increasing rate up to point a that is inflection point and then it increases at diminishing rate so these are the characteristics of stage 1 now let's understand stage 2 see green color in the table when we have eighth unit of labor the marginal production is zero and total production is maximized see point b total production is maximized and marginal production is zero so this is stage 2 now what are the characteristics of second stage so second stage is known as decreasing returns here average production decreases marginal production also decreases but it is positive you can see in the diagram that marginal production decreases but it is positive and average production also declines and total production continues to increase at diminishing rate and then we have third stage in which total production declines it is represented by blue color in the table see last two units of labor total production decreases marginal production is negative and average production also decreases so it is known as negative returns in which average production and marginal production both decreases but marginal production is negative and total production declines now why we have diminishing returns what are the reasons so in the beginning we are using our fixed factors efficiently so we have the optimum use of fixed factors with additional inputs with additional uh, labor units but after some point fixed factors are overused or overutilized or inadequate and hence productivity declines and therefore we have diminishing returns so we have three stages of production stage 1 stage 2 and stage 3 stage 1 is increasing returns stage 2 is decreasing returns and stage 3 shows the negative returns if you find this video useful kindly like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you